Good morning. Okay, yesterday or last Sunday, it was red. Today it is not red. We noticed our altar is different today too. Today the color is green. We have a long time of green. It's called the green growing time of the church. And that's really appropriate because it's summertime and things are green and things are growing. And we will have lots of green Sundays. Sing to Una, celebrate Una, see God's light in her. Sing to Joseph, celebrate Joseph, see God's light in him. Sing to Skyla, celebrate Skyla, see God's light in her. Sing to Kyler, celebrate Kyler, see God's light in him. Sing to you, celebrate you, see God's light in you. Sing to Ariana, celebrate Ariana, see God's light in her. Sing to Aurora, celebrate Aurora, see God's light in her. Sing to all of us, celebrate all of us, see God's light in all of us. All right, we have a special story today. And look at this. What does that look like? It looks like a present. A special present all wrapped up in gold. And it is a kind of a present. It's called a parable. A parable is a special story. And notice this one has a lid, a top on it. Well, parable stories sometimes have a top on them too, and you have to take off the top to find out what's inside. I wonder what's inside this box. Ooh, that's a beautiful color. What color is this? It is green. What a luscious dark green. It's green like the front of our altar. Hmm, what's green? Grass, grass is one of those really good things that is green do we have in here? Ooh. We have some more grass with a little fence around it. Hmm. And underneath, oh, there's even more grass. And here we have, ooh, what does that look like? Could that be water? That lovely light blue? It could be. These are very, very dark. Hardly anything light about these. Let's put these over here. Doesn't seem to be much light right there. Hmm. I wonder what these are all about. Here is a basket. And in this basket, what are these? It's a sheep. And another sheep. And another sheep. And another. How many are there? Do you suppose there are as many sheep as there are of you? There might even be more sheep than there are of you. Well, a long time ago, there was a very special person and he told a lot of stories, but sometimes the people who were listening to his stories didn't quite understand. And they said, tell us who you are. So the person telling the stories said, I'm going to talk about sheep and the shepherd because I am the good shepherd. What does a shepherd do for all those sheep? Do you know? Yes, they take care of the sheep. A shepherd, a good shepherd, keeps them safe inside their sheepfold, but they have to go out and eat and drink and the good shepherd knows each one of the sheep. So when the shepherd can call them, the sheep come out and they start to follow the shepherd because they know who is calling them. And where does a good shepherd take the sheep? 
Well, the Good Shepherd knows that sometimes places are kind of dark. Maybe they're rocky and maybe they're dangerous for the sheep. So the shepherd shows the sheep how to come around and through those rocky, dangerous places so the sheep are not in danger themselves. And then the shepherd takes them to a place with wonderful grass. And the sheep follow the shepherd because they know the shepherd's voice and the shepherd knows them. And all of the sheep can follow through the dangerous places to the place with the good green grass. And what else can they find there? What did we say that was? Water to drink. Everybody alive needs water to drink. And the shepherd shows his sheep how to come to the water where it is safe and it is good water and it's a place for the sheep to drink. Oh, are you wondering what is that white thing around the shepherd's shoulders? Well, I think one of the sheep may have gotten lost. And if you look, you can see the little ears here. One of the sheep got lost and the shepherd found it and is carrying it to the place with the good grass and the good water. And the shepherd watches over the sheep all day, but what do they do at night? Do sheep stay out in the field? Oh no, too dangerous. So the shepherd calls the sheep again and leads them safely back through the dark places and into the sheepfold where everyone will be safe. All the sheep follow the shepherd because the shepherd knows them and they know the shepherd's voice. So they know that with the shepherd, they will all be safe. And the shepherd brings them back to the sheepfold. And I think Jesus is the one who told us this story. Who do you think is the good shepherd? Jesus is the good shepherd, that's right. And that's what's inside our parable box today. All right, well, let's put away the water and put away the rocks and some of the green grass. And then we'll put away our sheep. We have more sheep than we have people in our class today, but there are a lot of you watching. And we will put away the sheepfold and we'll put away the green, the good shepherd with his sheep on his shoulders. Remember, that was the lost sheep. And we'll put away our green grass for today, but we'll see the green grass again next week. We're going to see green grass a long time. Okay. Are you ready for the penny box? All right. Let's start on this side. Are you ready? Okay. <clears throat> Ariana and Aurora have pennies. And you have your penny. Kyler has a penny. Skyla has a penny. Joseph has a penny. Puna has a penny. We have all our pennies. And now we need to fold our hands and say our prayers. Mm-hmm, all right. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. All right. And today, everybody has an activity, and it's a picture of a sheep and some flowers, and you can color that. And we'll have different activities after this. Mm -hmm.